Yeah, I, I don't want to hawk my computer, and uh, I have to consider what I'm going to do with that. So let's look here real quick at these um, these earthquakes. I noticed there was a 3.0 in India. I'm betting that's probably around the same area as we just had that um, big earthquake at yesterday. So we're going to pull this up big. We're going to run today's earthquakes. We're going to do a real quick update since it is 2 o'clock. And we'll spin the wheel. Okay, search all earthquakes for today. All right, so I pulled up all the earthquakes for today. Notice there's a 3.3 New Zealand. Okay, we're going to download these to Google Earth. We got these in Google Earth. We're going to give them some blue some yellow place marks. We're doing this live, you guys, live. Okay. I'm also recording it, so I will upload it in a little while. All right. Let's start off on the west coast of the United States because I see nothing on the east coast. So, as y'all could tell, Nevada has had a 2.7. Let's see what volcano that is. Oh, Steamboat Springs. So, that's Steamboat Springs here, Reno, Nevada, and like right up above it, Spanish Springs. And this is the Spanish Springs Valley Fault. So as we move over, because, you know, that just wanted to go flying on me. We have some more earthquakes in Texas, a 3.2, 2.1, 2.0, 2.1, and a 2.4. Now, if I go in here and look, they are all going to be at the well points. This one here is this one I need to remove from here, but I haven't done that yet. But as you can tell, these are all wells out here. Nothing new when it comes down to Texas. So we're going to head down here. This is Mexico. Mexico looks like it's getting a little bit busy now. They had a 4.0 offshore Jalisco, Mexico. 4.0 Mahoque, Mexico. And 3.8 Herrera, Mexico. This one is on the inside, which is not normal. That's a 3.3 Veracruz, Mexico. That's not a normal area for seeing an earthquake. Then we've had two offshore over here. And this, as you all know, is our subduction zone. So we had a 3.3 offshore Oaxaca, Mexico, and a 3.9 Oaxaca, Mexico. Now, as we pull over here, we can see that off of El Salvador, there's been a 3.9 and a 2.5 near the coast of Nicaragua. Now we're moving down into South America. And there has been a 4.4 Peru-Ecuador border. Again, this is the subduction zone here. This up here is the Continental Transform Fault. And then we have an inside one again, which is a 4.2 northern Peru. This is not normal to see them this far over. And the same down here. This means that we have motion in our volcanic fields. We have a 3.5 Terra Paca, Chile, and a 4.3 Aruru, Bolivia. This looks kind of like a lake here, maybe. Isla de Panza, Lego, Pupo? Okay, Lego Pupu. Hmm. Anyway, that's a 4.3, Aurora, Bolivia. Then we have a 2.0, Terrapaca, Chile, and a 3.6, Antifagasta, Chile. As we move on down, 
We have a 2.9 off the coast of Antofagasta, Chile, and a 2.6 San Juan, Argentina. Now, as we go around the border, you can see it is still nice and quiet. So eventually we're going to have some motion. This area moves with fives and sixes. It's mostly is what I've seen. So as we follow this around, we will come up through New Zealand. We'll see that New Zealand has had a 3.3 off the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand. And this is hitting along the Pacific Australian Convergent Boundary. This here is the Pacific Australian Transform Boundary. As we follow this up, we can see that the Continental Rift Boundary has had an earthquake to the left side. It was a 3.0 off the east coast of North Island, New Zealand. So if we look, you can see this was a 3.0, this was a 3.3. We shouldn't be expecting another 3.3 to 4.0 earthquake within this area. As we move up further, there was a 4.7 in the Fiji region. We follow it around the bend, it was quiet around here, all the way down to the Loyalty Islands. We've had a 4.9 southeast of the Loyalty Islands. Moving over here. I need to make this north-south again. Okay. We're going to go up this way and then we'll come back this way. We've had a 3.2 Papa Indonesia and a 4.6 in the Maluka Sea. You can see we have a nice little chain of volcanoes here. We've had a 4.2 Kapalan Talat Indonesia and a 3.7 Kapalan Talat Indonesia. And we continue with our swarm up here. There's a 3.0, a 3.0, and we have a 3.6, 3.1, a 3.5, 3.4, and a 3.3. I'm sure there's been more that are not being reported. There has also been a 3.2 Samar Philippines. As we move up, there was a 4.5 Southwest Ryuku Islands, Japan. We can tell that this was also on the subduction zone. This area subducts at 70 millimeters per year. And this area here is quiet, except for right here, we have a strange earthquake in the Bering Strait. It was a 3.4. Now, we will go back around this way. We have had a 3.9 in the Flora Sea, a 3.2 Java Indonesia, and a 2.5, and a 3.1 Java Indonesia. And let's check Australia real quick, make sure I've missed nothing, and good to go. Alrighty. We have had a 4.5 Myanmar. This is the, oops. Let me get the, the lines here. This is a continental convergent boundary. And this is a Sangang Fault transform boundary here. As we move up, you notice China here is quiet. We've had a 3.0 Haryana, India and a 3.3 Kashmir, India border region. And as we move up this way, there has been a 3.0 in Azerbaijan and a 1.9 in Eastern Turkey. As we look here, you can see there's been a 2.4 in Eastern Turkey. However, our swarm is still ongoing from that major earthquake this past year. 
There's also been a 1.5, a 2.0, a 1.1. This is Greece, a 2.4 Crete, Greece, a 1.4 near the coast of Western Turkey, and a 1.5 in Western Turkey. That follows along with a 2.5 in Southern Greece. Now we're moving into Italy. Italy's had a 2.6 in Sicily, which I think I showed earlier, a 2.1 in the Ionian Sea, a 2.0 and a 2.3 in Southern Italy. And we showed these ones, one of these earlier as they were both near the same region. This was the Bethesda 1 and Bethesda 2 region. As we move up into Switzerland, they have had a 1.0 Northern Italy, a 1.0 in Switzerland, a 2.0 in France, a 2.2 in France, a 2.1 in France, a 2.2 in France, and a 2.1 along with a 2.1. And as we move over here, this is the Bering Strait. There are Strait of Gibraltar, sorry. They've had a 2.0, a 1.9, and a 2.0. And if we go out here to the middle, we had a 2.1 in the Azores, a 3.3, and a 2.6. You can see this area is volcanic, but these two are occurring at the Tessaria, Tarsaria volcano. Sorry, I'm not pronouncing that correctly. And this one is occurring before these. So there may be another one in this area. Okay, so let's look and see if I've missed any. I have not missed any here. I already got that one. So that's to catch you up on the earthquake activity for today. There is volcanism going on in Iceland. And what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to pull up Iceland map or earthquakes. And we're going to look at the earthquakes for today in Iceland. So we can see what they've had so far in Iceland since they're not reported on the EMSC and USGS. Today is the 19th, so we're following down the 19th. My job is going to be just to find the big ones. So this is where the 19th begins here. These are all 0 0.1. There was a 2.0. 3.5 kilometers north northeast of Grindavik. There was a 2.2, 2.8 kilometers north northeast of Grindavik. There was a 2.2, 2.7 northwest of Fragastafel. There was a 3.0, 3.1 kilometers north northeast of Grindavik. There was a 2.0, 2.3 northeast of Grindavik. There was a 2.9, or the 2.0, 2.9 kilometers north northeast of Grindavik. There was a 2.2, 2.5 kilometers northwest of Fragastafel. It was a 2.2, 1.7 kilometers north northeast of Fragas de Foe. It was a 2.0, 4.5 kilometers northeast of Edley. Edley? Eldy. E L D E Y. And those are the quakes that I have for today. The weird thing is, and just to let y'all know, these are not on EMSC or USGS. They are on the Icelandic Met Office site. I'm going to put a link for this into the chat.
so that you have the link if you would like to go and look at it. Hopefully it posted. I don't know if it posted or not. Let's try it again. Let me see. Trying to get it to post. I don't think. Uh, what's YRD? Yes? Okay, good. Well, you probably have to copy it because for some reason it's not showing for me that it posted. Let me tr check this. Just refresh my YouTube and see if it posts. Okay. And another 3.0 in India just now. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is for the video part. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Please be safe and have a great day. Um, I will be live, and I have decided um, I will be live streaming mostly during the day. Um, much love and God bless.